Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you our Thanksgiving. I know it's earlier than other people's Thanksgiving, but my mom requested that I cook for Thanksgiving because my brother is in the military and is going to be home for the weekend before instead of actual Thanksgiving. So I split the work between me and my sister and I'm here at Costco picking up supplies. If you guys are still looking for Christmas gifts, Costco has a lot of good deals on toys. In this video, I will be showing you my Costco haul, my Walmart haul, and what I got from Trader Joe's. Just at the Costco haul, I got some shelled pistachios. They're the only nuts we can really eat around here. Some of this naked popcorn, a master carved ham, um, butter. I got some strawberries and blueberries for breakfast. We got some King's Hawaiian rolls. I got a variety pack of cheese. Got some of this prosciutto. Some of these light ropes. These are amazing. They're a little pricey, but they're all colored and all kinds of different colors, so they're very versatile. From Walmart, I got socks. Slipper socks. These are the Shopkins Real Littles. Some of the big pack, these little packs. Wildberry Skittles. I got a two pack of the stovetop turkey, a sweet onion, two jellied cranberry sauces, two of the sweet potatoes in the syrup, marshmallows, brown sugar. I got a 11 pound ham, some green beans, kosher salt, grapes, these are just for lunches, some pie crusts, 10 pounds of yellow potatoes, and some great. We got some of the fresh squeezed limeade, some of the chile spiced mango, a loaf of the regular white bread, two apples for the fruit salad, some of these peanut butter cups. They are sunflower seed butter though. Some of these snack sized manzanilla olives. A cheese sampler. Some of these fruit bars. Some sweet and dried orange slices. Some coconut cream. This is the Trader Joe's Holiday Candle Trio. You have cranberry pine, fresh currant, and nutmeg. I got a gallon of whole milk, and then some French vanilla for pie. Now I'm gonna get started with this ham by putting it in the crock pot and covering it with a honey glaze so it'll be ready for breakfast and snacking tomorrow. I'm just gonna take this ham and make some slits into it. I did not get a spiral cut ham, so I will just cut it myself. Yes, we will be having turkey tomorrow. My sister bought the turkey and I will be cooking it. I just didn't want the added extra fun of having to deal with lugging around a 20 pound turkey. I also realized I needed to cut off one of these ends because the ham does not fit in the crock pot like this. So you'll see me struggle with this ham for a little while before I'll move on to something else so that you don't have to watch me struggle with the ham. This is the first year my mom has requested not to cook for a holiday. So my sister and I said, okay, we'll do the cooking. I am going to be doing most of the cooking. My sister is going to be making the pies, a spinach dip, and just picking up some of the other things that we need.
Now the ham glaze I used is super, super simple. It is literally just brown sugar and honey. I didn't measure them. I just put them into a pot and turned it on and melted them all down until it looked almost like caramel before dumping it all over the ham and then cooking the ham overnight on low for probably four or five hours. The ham is already cooked, so you're really just warming it up and adding a glaze to it. It's super simple. So for breakfast, I put together a fruit tray. One of my favorite parts of the fruit tray this year are the candied sugared oranges from Trader Joe's. They are absolutely delicious and we will be adding them to our annual Christmas supper. After breakfast is where everything starts to get a little crazy when cooking goes into full swing so you only get to see little bits and pieces that I actually got to capture which isn't really much just pretty much making potatoes kind of and I caught the tail end of my sister making her gorgeous pies She usually makes pies or desserts and treats every year and I have to say she's just getting better and better. dip, corn, green beans, sweet potatoes, stuffing, turkey, mashed potatoes, and gravy. So this has been in a 300 degree oven for about an hour. I recommend bringing some of these trays for leftovers. They're wonderful. I really just throw them into the oven with everything for about an hour or so to reheat the whole thing. And then today we are going to be having leftover turkey sandwiches.
And now for one of my favorites, leftover egg rolls. These are so simple. While you're heating some oil on your stove, you're going to take your egg roll wrappers and fill them with your preheated leftovers. Seal them up with a little bit of water and roll them up and then fry them till they're golden brown. And when they're done, you're going to be dipping them in the dipping sauce of your choice. But my favorite thing to dip them in is gravy, especially if you go a little heavy handed on mashed potatoes and stuffing when you are putting the leftovers into the egg rolls. This is also a really good recipe to stretch leftovers. If you're on a budget, a pack of egg roll wrappers is usually under two or three dollars and you can make a bunch of egg rolls with just a little bit of leftovers. The only thing cheaper than egg rolls, I think, is probably a soup, and I know a lot of people get tired of soup. If you guys celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you have a very, very happy Thanksgiving and I hope everyone gets to see the family that they've been missing and I really hope everybody has happy holidays. Thank you guys so much for watching.